Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute diagonal square infinity card. So you have a link to the template in the description under the video. You can go ahead and grab that. And I'm going to show you how to trace that template to my card. So I'm using a black cardstock, but you can use whatever color you want. And I'm tracing the lines according to the template and I am marking them with a pencil so they will be visible of course on my paper and we need to do these lines on both sides and in order to have straight lines I always mark two points that's the best way so it's a really easy card and you can do it in any kind of square you want, any size. The instructions will be the same. So I'm going to score along the pencil lines that I just did. So basically we have four lines. These are the lines that are going to be folded to create the movement of the card. And next I need to cut two diagonal lines intersecting in the center of the card. So I'm just aligning my ruler corner to corner on the inside square of the card and I cut with my craft knife a diagonal line and then I do exactly the same thing on the other side. So we basically have a big X in the center of the card and basically that is it. That is the entire card. Now I'm going to show you how to fold it so it will become an infinity card. So our lines are scored so it will be easy to fold them. So you fold them back and then you open the little corners towards the outside and again fold them back. And then you turn the card and you have an infinity card. It just goes on and on. The next thing you need to do is cover it with cover papers. I want to erase the pencil lines first. And I'm also going to show you how to make the irregular size and shape of the cover papers because they're not just squares or rectangles they have that edge so basically what you need to do is just trace while the card is folded trace those triangles on a piece of paper and then cut around to make sure that it fits the space that you need to cover so that is pretty easy and then sorry it's out of frame a little bit and then you simply go ahead and cover and once you have one shape you can trace all the other shapes because they're all the same they look like little houses so basically just trace one and then cut as many as you need and for the little triangle you simply cut that house shape into a rectangle and a triangle and then you'll have those and you simply cover all the sides of the card that you need so you can play with whatever patterns of paper that you want And make this really it's really simple and re really easy and of course you can use a pattern paper to make the card and then avoid the cover papers part altogether just have the card ready with a double-sided pattern cardstock so that will be really easy and you even you can even step uh, skip a step of covering the card with cover papers if you just make it with a double-sided cardstock. So now I need to cover the little triangle part 
the front of the card and the little squares so I'm just attaching those It's a great way to use leftover papers because this card is really small so you can just cut the cover papers from whatever scraps you have laying around that will be perfect now I want to show you another infinity card that I made and this design is for members only you know that I've just started a YouTube members uh, club that is called the extra club and if you hit the join button that is on my channel you can see all the perks that you're going to get by being a member and having the opportunity to support me so I'll have time to create more content for you if you join the extra club you will still be able to enjoy all the free content that I upload I will continue to upload free content every Saturday like I do every month that will stay the same but you will have extra tips extra exclusive videos extra download patterns and printables extra badges extra emojis and all kinds of perks <clears throat> excuse me all kinds of perks that you will get as a member so go ahead check out that join button you can see everything there so go ahead and join us in the membership please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to watch all the videos and make all the projects so go ahead hit that subscribe button and then hit that join button to see all the perks you get as a member and join us there also thank you for joining me and I will see you next time